All right, hi everyone. So we're back inside the dome just to do another quick change to uh, the shutter mechanism. Uh, I had problems with the charger uh, again and uh, came in one morning and uh, this unit was completely dead and uh, couldn't do anything with it. And uh, I decided, right, I was going to try and come up with an alternative mechanism for the charging contacts. The original system uh, used these braided uh, conductive fabrics and hang down off the shutter so as the shutter came down it connected with these washers that were connected to the battery charger and basically it connected making a contact uh, either if the shutter was opened or if the shutter was rotated it would still break free and uh, allow the, the everything to move without pulling on cables however the reliability of these seems to be uh, an issue and uh, this resulted in the battery not charging despite the charger being uh, seeing is connected and trying to charge the battery uh, so enough was enough and I decided to come up with a, an alternative approach with what I had lying around the house uh, to try and fix this. So what I did was I used uh, this 2mm gauge uh, nickel plated wire uh, that I used previously for fixing some uh, chicken wire fencing and uh, I removed uh, the, the hanging fabric ma magnet so there's obviously two one for the positive and the negative and to give us a bit of space I, I also removed two of the washers I then I cut this wire and made a loop so I wrapped it around uh, the handle of a screwdriver uh, and then brought it down into uh, a narrow point a uh, parallel point that I could then adjust uh, into the mechanism. So let's flip over to the, the mechanism and have a look there. Okay, so here's the original charging bracket. Uh, so this, when the dome was first supplied, uh, the battery charger used to sit on here, uh, but it meant there was a, a bright red LED or green LED pointing into the dome. So I actually moved the charging uh, down to the bottom here. And uh, we'll have the positive and the negative terminals. So this is where the, the um, fabric used to hang down and then connect up with the, magnet, uh, with the, the washers using the, the magnets. So using the original mounting plate which acts as a nice spring, I put the wire in between the plastic and the washer and clamped it down and then I could also adjust the height of it to get the right tension uh, onto the plate. And this means that when the dome either is rotated uh, it hits the side of the, the wire and pushes this out the way and allows the, the shutter to move or obviously it breaks free uh, if the shutter is uh, being opened. So then where the, the mesh uh, was bolted uh, onto the cabling inside the enclosure I had these two metal brackets uh, that I had lying around in my toolbox and at the moment I've just used one of them and uh, bolted them onto one onto each of the positive and negative uh, but next time we're passing in the DIY shop I'm going to get some slightly wider uh, brackets just to increase the contact uh, area so if the dome is slightly out of its stop position when it's parked then I'll still have a contact and I'm not relying on just this roughly 10 to 15 millimeter uh, wide metal strip but it's been it's been uh, working without problem uh, so far so I'm in no rush to, to run out to the shop and, and buy another bit of metal we'll see how this goes on so once I had it in position, uh, because we've got a nice bit of twist uh, as well on the bracket, I can adjust the uh, the two terminals uh, to get the right tension so that they both make a nice even uh, contact regardless of what's going on uh, with the dome position uh, or the shutter uh, coming down uh, onto the unit. They both make a nice good uh, firm contact. Uh, and this means that now as you can see on the charger uh, we're actually showing both the power LED and the full charge status which I've only seen once previously when the dome was new uh, when I first got the, the dome and uh, plugged everything in uh, and ever since then I haven't really seen that full light come on uh, at all but now I've seen the dome being used, I've had the shutter opened and closed a few times and it seems to charge fine and uh, give us the full charge indication so that was a quick fix uh, into the dome uh, using what I had lying around and it seems to have been successful and uh, something to consider if you've also been seeing 
uh, charging issues uh, for your next door shutter mechanism. All right, so that was just a quick update on the charging fix, uh, or temporary fix, or permanent fix, depending how it goes, uh, for the shutter mechanism. Uh, the next thing I need to try and solve with the uh, the shutter is the frequent disconnects that we see uh, with the, the shutter disconnecting uh, from the rotation kit. And this appears to be related to the XB uh, communication modules that sit between them, they lose the, the connection between them and then I can't get uh, to control the shutter uh, remotely. Uh, one fix that's mentioned in the groups is to replace the XB3 module with the Pro module and also use an external antenna uh, stuck onto the side uh, of the enclosure. But the problem I think just with the global supply chain issues at the moment, uh, I cannot find these in stock uh, anywhere in Europe for shipping to, to Cyprus. So uh, I can live with it for the time being, but it's definitely uh, on the agenda to fix. So that's it for just now. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.